Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Welcome to our backyard in the Wyag Islands. Look at you, Chuck, just chilling. Hey guys. Relaxing. Don't bother going the internet and showers down. Oh, really? I got to 99% on my video and it stopped. No. Two minutes to go. Friends from Cruise had to head back to Sarong to do visas. We didn't have to quite yet, so we stayed a few extra days. So it's a rainy day. Ali and I decided to head for a hike. We have done a lot of free diving here, but decided since it's a scuba diving haven, we better have a scuba. We headed out to a nearby island. It was pretty good viz. Not a lot of fish around, but check out these gorgeous yellow corals. They look like yellow cauliflower or little clumps of fairy floss creating a magical pathway underwater where the current was racing against us. Later it comes later deep for many of us. I promise you that we learn through the wrongs and even the rough can be sweet. If you haven't already, like this video and write us a comment and continue to watch what we get up to in our final days here at the beautiful Wyag Islands. Even in paradise, plastic is a problem. Sarah's day off today, so this is what you do on your day off when you're not making movies. <laughs> We woke up to paradise this morning and the wind had changed. We've been keeping the beach pretty clean where we are, but the wind changed and oh, all this rubbish is floating on it. Oh, look at that, I could get myself a Javiana out of that. There's a couple of new ones, like brand new ones. It's probably lasting a lot, like that, a toothbrush. 
I'll oh, yeah. pass on the toothbrush. I might stick to my own one. Pack on four. We need to find a way to recycle this, darling, instead of just burning it. Let's just wonder how far do you think it is from here? How far do we walk? Uh, is that all? That's ridiculous. Not even. That'd be a footy. Crazy. That'd be a hundred. That'd be two hundred meters or hundred. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters. And look, we've missed stuff too. Yeah. We did two kayaks for. What do you think he caught? Um, caught you the most of? Like was it water bottles? Water or? bottles and. Just normal bottle like containers. Mm. Lots there's heaps of toothbrushes. Really? And um You're in the middle of nowhere. There's so many of those cups. Those cups and water bottles I reckon. Oh, you thing. There's a lot of styrofoam. No, and I, I was thought saying Liam, it's just it's the manufacturing company. Yeah. We, they can no one can blame no. people. People, you can do what you can do with especially rubbish, like. here, don't have any other choice. Like This isn't the solution, we know, but getting the plastic out of the ocean we think is a good thing. We're very excited about a project we will be involved in regarding upcycling as we travel, so stay tuned for that. Around every corner here, there is another natural wonder. Check out this arch. This rock formation is incredible and another great place to free dive and for the girls to climb. It's some kind of devotion that brings me down. That without my love.
seven nautical miles, I think, today. We're trying to get to Arbor Rec Island. Um, we got no wind, so we're just motoring. And uh, Lee is having a rest. Bella's on lunch. I'm in the kitchen, and uh, I'm just making dinner because it's super calm, so uh, we are very low on food. We are right down to our last uh, vegetables. It's been five weeks since we've been to Sarong, and so with, uh, we've had the pumpkin for five weeks, and um, I think I cut it open last week, put it in the fridge, and it was huge, so it lasted ages, but I had a little bit of eggplant, some pumpkin, and a sweet potato. So I'm roasting them in the oven at the moment. I just made some bechamel sauce, tomato sauce, and I'm going to whip up a lasagna for dinner. So. Uh, Getting down to our last meals, but I still have some parmesan cheese. And yeah, that's about it. We ran out of all our veggies now. So five weeks of that provisioning. Sweet potato, potatoes. I store my sweet potato and sweet potatoes in the fridge. I didn't at the start of this time and I wasted heaps of sweet potato. I put them in a box and they went moldy. If you've got room, I suggest putting them in the fridge. I know people say not to, but mine grow if I don't. I think it's the tropics, so anyway, you're in the tropics, that's my advice. Um, and the other good thing I bought this time was frozen broccoli. So we had it last night in our dinner and it was so good. So we are out of a, a lot of food, but we got heaps. I mean, we could go another two weeks and still eat okay. We just don't have fresh food. We are gonna be in Sarong tomorrow, so we don't have to worry about that go restock. Anyway, I'm going to finish my lasagna. I will show it to you. Hopefully I remember. I usually film parts of cooking and then I forget to film the actual end product. But I will try to remember to film everything. I made the bechamel, I made the tomato base sauce and then I'm just going to put it together. Taj is listening to a podcast and drawing in his room and I uh, think it's his turn next on watch. But we've only got probably another four and a half hours to go until we arrive. We should be there at Arbor at about four o'clock or five this afternoon. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking. You got me checkmate. Watching on nothing. I have cleared out the room, also so that you can get to be the big spoon.
Thanks for sticking around for another episode. If you want a more in-depth Sailing Cadelpa experience, head on over to our Patreon page and become a part of the community. If you want a cool artwork like this, make sure to direct message me on Instagram at Art of Charge. I'll see you later.